welcome back to Punch Drunk ENT. We got you guys here with your Mr. Swaggy New Waggy. And I'm just Dan. And we are back with another React video. What is this one? Death Battle! Saber Wolf versus John Tailbane. Killer hey. Instinct versus Darkstalkers. Shout out to Darkstalkers, man. That was like... It didn't really get a lot of airtime when it came to fighting games. Yeah. But it was a fun game. It didn't get a lot of airtime when it had a cartoon either. <laughs> cartoon was kind of bad, though. It was. It was. I'm hey, putting my pick in now. I think John Tailbane is going to win this. Uh, see, I, I I don't want to go against you because no, no. that's what I was going to pick, too. The only reason why I said that because I know Darkstalkers has more character history. Yes. From because they, have, they have a comic book that talks about each and everything. Kill Instinct? I don't know. They might they, go, little, they move on the fly with their stuff. Yeah, I'm about to say they put little comics out when the game is about to drop, but that's it. They don't really have that, that character depth. Well, we're going to see right now. This is what Death Battle's for. Don't be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into it, man. Pop the video. Let's go. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Here we go. Shout out to Rooster Teeth. Killing it. Yes, sir. Because you know Death Battle was with Sir Thomas Brown attack. once said, Every man is his own greatest enemy, and as it were, his own executioner. For many, every day is a struggle to restrain the beast within. Or else you might turn into a big old honking werewolf. Such as oh. Saberwolf, the savage wolfman oh. of killer instinct. And John Talbane, the My kung fu right. canine darkstucker. He's whiz and I'm boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win. Uh, Dandy got a nunchuck? He better win. I know, I know. Deep in the they heart of Germany's Black Forest lies the ruins of Saber Wolf Castle. I can't oh. say one thing. I don't know nothing about the history of either of these characters. Uh, with... Yeah, I'm... So I'm, is, good. I'm glad we learned in this. I know, we, the we story is right to both of us, so... Yep. Let's to a monster of unspeakable ferocity. I mean, duh, it's called Saber Wolf Castle. What else do you expect? Wow. But that monster used to be a man, Baron Conrad von Saberwolf. Once what? an aristocrat of wealth and status, his life also would drastically what? change what? the day he discovered a <laughs> secret <laughs> laboratory <laughs> deep in the castle's bowels. He stumbled onto a treasure trove of monster hunting weapons and relics straight out of his family's secret history, including a mysterious large claw, what in the world? which he accidentally cut himself on. Upon the light of the next full moon, the Baron transformed into a vampire! <laughs> no, a werewolf. This oh my werewolf. gosh. Come on, Wiz. Spooky castle in the middle of nowhere, a weird cursed artifact. He's got Vaughn in his name. This is totally <laughs> a vampire backstory. Now, that's for next year. <laughs> On that night, uh -oh. Baron Saberwolf got became a coming out next year. beast. You know, the name really screwed him from the start there. Almost like it was destiny. Well, originating as early as classical antiquity, <laughs> the fable of men turning into wolves under a full moon is a oh, staple of European folklore. Before we go any further, can you name any good werewolf movies? Or The first Underworld was good. Mm, yeah, I can you that. The second one was alright too, but as far as like a... Uh, like a werewolf alone werewolf movie. <laughs> Twilight. <laughs> Teen Wolf. Teen. Oh, shout out to <laughs> Teen Wolf, man. That's what that clip was that they just showed. Yeah. The guy transformed up to Teen Wolf. Yes, sir, man. He was averaging like 40, getting buckets out there. <laughs> Nobody cared. <laughs> I don't remember. Was they not freaking out that this he came out hairy? No, they wasn't. Like that's so crazy about it. <laughs> I need to rewatch too. <laughs> Yo, thanks, man. <laughs> Let's get back into it. Real life victims of so-called lycanthropy most likely suffered from porphyria, hypertrichosis, or rabies. Okay. Sabi rampaged all over the country, killing everyone he found. Cause as a big hairy demon dog, being a werewolf means your strength, speed, and tough hide are off Ooh. the charts. Oh, and it makes you <laughs> hey, pretty hey, wolf. With his razor sharp claws, Saberwolf can easily tear through solid steel. Also, mm. any one of his cuts can potentially pass his curse to new victims. But he's pretty happy using those claws to brutally rush down any foe. Ooh. With a howl to the sky, Saberwolf can amp himself up or tap into his killer instinct to enter a feral rage. In this state, Rawr. any sense of shame Watch or the move depression this is baby. eliminated so as he truly becomes a mindless monster. I think so. <laughs> it also increases his chip damage and allows him to cancel auto doubles into other auto- Yeah, yeah, it makes him even yeah. more stronger and faster. Shout the killer instinct, it. man. And to top it off, he can summon bats <laughs> that are on fire. 
gotta be honest, not sure where this one comes from. Oh, right. They got rid of that in the newest one. Yeah. Called it. After a night of painting the town red with blood, Saberwolf awoke to the nightmare that would be the rest of his life. Yeah, he wasn't exactly a fan of the whole werewolf thing, so he did anything he could to stop being a full moon furry. But science and magic couldn't cut it. He descended into madness, but eventually found a possible savior. Your friendly neighborhood soul-crushing mega corporation. Ultra Tech. Ultra. Tech. Ultra. <laughs> <Walmart>. <laughs> Just Walmart. Ultra Tech promised Ultra Saber Tech. Wolf a cure for oh, his you remember the, But in reality, back, their experiments that, only gave him cybernetic implants in his arms. Cool. And extended his <laughs> werewolf form to last indefinitely. Oh. Yeah. Also cool. But Saber Wolf was none the wiser. In return for a cure that would never come, he agreed to fight on Ultra Tech's behalf in their Killer Instinct tournament. What a goober! This moron ran around a creepy <laughs> castle. Oh, so he's actually a bad guy. Dumbass, and That's now so. he might not even be potty trained. Then he got duped by the most obviously evil company ever got to tricked. ruin his All life right. even more. This guy is either the unluckiest smuck on the planet or just high off his ass on opium. Actually, he was dangerously <laughs> addicted to opiates for a time. Oh, gosh. Which only drove him further into madness. Wow, this guy's <laughs> life sucks. Regardless, yeah, Saber Wolf was a fierce competitor. <laughs> Within the Killer Instinct tournament, a drug he battled and defeated a Nez Perce Warrior <laughs> Thunder, the metallic super soldier Fulgor, and an actual dinosaur. Damn. He's certainly among a high tier of the competition. Like Tusk, who can summon friggin' meteors out of the wow. sky. Based on how large this projectile is, its impact should be equivalent to over a kiloton of TNT. Sure, Sabi can't magically see? call down random, space rocks, random but he can survive shit, a hit man. like that and I need to go back and see if any of the Killer Instinct characters has ever won when he gets that row until he uh, yes i was gonna say that Jacob. one did uh what's a tj combo okay. he beat bob rock all right <laughs> that's somebody you need to check on we need to check on the street fighter characters i don't think they won saber wolf proved strong enough to tear out his own cybernetic implants while conducting experiments on him ultra Tech's android ceo aria had noted that the older a werewolf gets man. the more vicious and skilled it becomes Crazy. while the loss in strength and agility is negligible and he proved it in his rematch with glacius who's the Clapper of cheeks now, you projectile spamming snow cone. <laughs> oh, God, I got to see that. once got the drop on Arya, whom, according to an official novella, oh, can react within a nanosecond. Holy crap, he's not just your average werewolf. He's a super werewolf, a fighting tournament ass kicker. Though he will sadly always be on the hunt for a cure that doesn't exist. <laughs> Saber Wolf is hey. one of the most dangerous monsters and they don't so reach ever it. live. They are a lot of reaching for Yeah. A lot of reaching on that. A lot Welcome of reaching. to the demon realm of Makai, a dimension inhabited by powerful beings known as Dark, Dark Stalkers. Stalkers. Basically, Donovan. your classic Hollywood movie monsters mixed with anime powers. Makai is ruled by several noble clans, including the Kroots, a family of beasts. Like werewolves? Including one prominent member, Baraba the Wolf Lord. Baraba. A son named Galen. Which means hungry wolf. Really thinking outside the box with that one. Huh? Oh, okay. On the Japanese version, is the gal. Yeah. yeah, but his dad is named a freaking Wolf Lord. That's so <laughs> awesome, it almost makes me forget he's a total deadbeat. Just like my dad. Yep. Did I say that out loud? Things got worse. One of the Wolf Lord's enemies, off, the Demon yeah, Jedi, sent an assassin to kill yeah. John's mother. Dick move. Moms are Damn. off limits. Now a werewolf and an orphan, John grew up pretty pissed off at just about everything, especially the humans that hunted him when he transformed. Oh, In the light of a full moon, John can't help but embrace his crew's heritage. And under a red blood moon, he risks losing all sense of self and becoming a ravenous beast. John's story Ooh. was about the same as any werewolf. So it seems like he's gonna have more speed. Who also he seems. Once, and who defeated John in combat. With martial arts! <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> telling people, the only way to solve violence is with a good pair of nunchucks. John's new friend did not offer violence, but control. Seeing little other option, hey. John accepted a life with his new sensei. Well, we don't know for sure what fighting style he was trained in. Based on the time period, location, and its stance, we can guess that he was learning Shotokan Karate. Inspired hey. by Bushido and Zen Buddhism, <laughs> Shotokan Karate's focus is on control, Shoto, so you know what that means. strong defense, and a rejection of unnecessary violence. Sure, you can the exact opposite yep. of being a werewolf. Well, sign me up Ooh. for his doggy dojo. 
because I have no idea how all that Zen stuff translates to moves like his Climb Chaser and Wild yep. Circuit. Damn. Rejection of unnecessary yeah. violence. Drops? My ass. This he seems like the better fighter. By embracing his werewolf speed, John can bash you know his and off. move oh, so fast oh, he appears man. to be in two places at once. And by tapping into his inner energy, you know, key, John can perform the beast cannon and rock it around the room like a doggy meteor of pain. But that's nothing compared to the almighty dragon cannon. Oh yeah, <laughs> so much for being zen, right? That dragon can incinerate a whole wall. John's training seemed to do the trick until his master was killed by a group of bandits. Where is your flaming dragon there, man? Enraged <laughs> yet again by the cruelty of mankind, but so we got flaming dragon versus passion, flaming John became conflicted yeah. <laughs> over his role in a morally gray world, unwilling to fight, but always ready. And by combining his martial arts skills with his natural werewolf powers, he became a wolf man to be reckoned with. His razor sharp claws can slice hey, through steel that. That and even the dark punch holes in powerful dark oh, yeah, stalkers check that like out, then. Yeah. He's also got those great doggo senses. Oh like god, the cartoon is terrible. <laughs> to demonstrate, I've modulated dummy senses up to the same degree as those of a wolf. I see you find my frequent humiliation amusing. Oh, I do. <laughs> In open climates, wolf ears can hear sounds up to 10 miles away. Boomstick, somebody is outside stealing your dune buggy. <laughs> no, they're... Wait, really? <laughs> and their sense of smell is over a hundred times greater than that of a human's. Damn. Oh, good. The thief got away. What did you smell <laughs> that told you that? Salt. Lots and lots of salt. <laughs> Damn. With nothing but grit in a thick Ooh. layer of what I'm sure is unreasonably soft fur that you just want to scratch behind the ears. John has Shout the anime, an man. For going, my anime can make Monster Hunter BB Hood. So but great anyway, to watch. Who gave little BB Hood. Hood military grade ordinance? I want to shake their hand. We've seen John dodge bullets up close, but he's bragged about being as fast as light speed. Sure, Jan. I mean, John. And he can take down these 5,500 pound alien robots called Heat Souls, which can fly through outer space. Uh -oh. Also, it's wow. worth mentioning that Darkstalker society is broken up into different classes based on the strength and power of the individual. I just said he'd be the S class. B plus class Darkstalker, Damn. which is He's a B -class way above average. So it makes sense Damn, to compare crazy. him to other B plus classers to gauge his like limits, a, like Anna Carter, <laughs> who sank all like of a Egypt <laughs> underground. God. Or QB, who could lift a massive beehive high above this castle. Based on its size relative to the castle, this hive would have to weigh over 30 million tons. That's like lifting over 300 aircraft carriers, and John's way more jacked than she is. And imagine getting stung by one of those bees. Even with his amazing power, after decades of torment, John had resigned himself uh. to a life of misery and solitude. Until he met the cutest cat girl around. Hey. Now, we all know cats are usually super evil and Satan's presence on Earth, but yep. Felicia told yes, that sir. humans actually aren't so bad. Felicia! Wait, wait. So years of martial arts discipline couldn't take like his her. bad side. <laughs> But getting late, I like man. this pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I believe in. As far as we know, they're just friends. Yeah, and I'm sure the internet could give you 34 good reasons why that's bullshit, Wiz. Well, despite what DeviantArt needs, Felicia would help yeah. John yeah. his dark side. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> like, he literally fought his dark side and killed it. I always thought Ooh. that was supposed to be, like, metaphor stuff, but I guess that is I'm the I'm gonna hate if you lose now. Yeah. And with that victory, John finally Bro, it's history is so over it's his monstrous identity and committed himself to a life of compassion. It's so much but more John than, like, always be a yeah. dark stalker. If he relapses, he'll be as bullshit. deadly as ever. There will always be a monster inside of him, just waiting to be let loose. Existence with humans is impossible. That is why we are called dark stalkers. Hey... Here we all go! Right, the are set, and we've run the data through all possibilities. But speaking of howling in the middle Gallin. of the night, let's talk about Blue Chew. This episode is sponsored what? by. Here we go. Let's get it. Somebody dead. Oh, all these dead people. I was wondering what art style they were going to use. Me. I have no forgiveness left. Monster. Uh oh, here we go. Oh. This name is four. Oh gosh. Oh. Oh. Over. I'll get. <laughs> Oh, 
Whoa. If I hear combo breaker. I know. Hey, let's go. Let's go, John. Oh, no. Oh, oh my, oh, 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 man. you taste uh, enticing. The bats! Flaming bats! Oh, no. John, no. What a nunchuck self. Hey. Let's go, John. Wow. Oh, man. Come on, John. If he howls, it might be over, though. I knew it was going to happen. They called us out earlier. He loses control with the blood boom. Oh gosh. Let's go, John. I knew that was gonna happen. Not like him. Uh oh. No. Oh my gosh. The moon left. Not like this. Oh gosh. I'm no monster. But tonight I'll make it oh. exception. Let's go! Ball game. Gosh! Wait, wait, no! <laughs> Let's go! Let's go, John! KO! Mm. I didn't think I need to see a therapist. <laughs> that was violent. <laughs> that was very violent. Wolf was a ferocious foe, but John had a lot going for him in most regards. For instance, John was I thought he was done when he got martial arts. Yeah, when he got his, them his for that, that was my. I speaking, that was my. Basically, gave John. They, they, they didn't go fight no fighting styles with uh, yeah. Saber Wolf. You're no fun. But hey, remember how Sabi defeated Glacius, who attacked Arya in less than a nanosecond? Technically, that puts Saberwolf's reaction capability well within light speed, which John claimed he could match. But that was just bragging, right? Hardly. Those Sweetzel units John fought were capable of flying across Sheesh. the galaxy hundreds of millions of light years in only a short time. This Damn. is important because fellow Darkstalkers Morgan and Dimitri have intercepted Huitzels in mid-flight combat. Ooh. Yeah, those two are A classes. Hey, she did my moves. Oh, I gotta watch like this. John have yeah. kept up with the higher classes in speed plenty of times. Hell, BB Hood can, and she's a C That's class. They was, they was talking when it comes about, to the Darkstalker um, class system, Dimitri speed versus is much Alucard less a factor than from, uh, power and energy. I wanna see that too. To yeah. be frank, even if John was That's half this was supposed Morgan's to be, speed, but he'd still be faster than Saberwolf. So, if anything, he wasn't bragging Bad enough. <laughs> yeah. way stronger, too. <laughs> <laughs> no, B is also a B-plus Darkstalker, and she lifted that 30 million ton beehive. Way more than anything Saberwolf can pull off. Damn. And when it came to ranged options, I think a flaming inferno key dragon beats out a lone discount fire bat yeah. any day. Yeah. <laughs> While his application is different, we can gauge the level of key John has at his disposal by factoring Anakaris sinking all of Egypt. So the only logical thing to do was measure the total weight of ancient Egypt. Damn. No, really, we did that. Most buildings in the period were made of clay bricks and about 4.3 meters tall. Adding the known volume of the pyramids and considering additional <laughs> land, we <laughs> determined Anakar. They do their homework, man. They definitely do. Definitely. Civilization weighing over 1.2 trillion tons. Wow. That's not even counting all the people or cats. <laughs> they got a shitload of cats. Now that sounds oh, shout crazy out to for an old school horror monster like a mummy or a werewolf, but Darkstalkers aren't quite like the classics. At this fight's core though, John won because of the kind of werewolf he was. Through years of struggle, Saberwolf never found any means to take the <laughs> <a> savage, <laughs> while John yeah, successfully managed to regulate his wild side, giving a level of precision, skill, and control right. the poor Baron couldn't I thought even it was begin over. to understand. 
Saberwolf was vicious and unrelenting, but John had the training, the power, and yes, the flaming Inferno Dragons to score a brutal victory. Brutal doesn't even cut it. I mean, how much blood was that? You know, it had to be at least a gallon. <laughs> the winner is John Talbot. Yeah! Shout out my guy, John, man. This episode of Death Battle. Come back next week to see previews of our upcoming match. Yes. You knew what it was going to be, though. Yeah. They could. They couldn't go the other way, man. That was nah, just nah. It would. It would really. It would really set people off. Yeah. Only because you had to think about it. John was a better fighter. Had a better story. Yeah. It was just so much variables you could use. So like, many. So many different uh, types of media where you can pull information from to right. validate right. your opinion. The crazy thing is, I didn't kill instinct. I ain't gonna say nah. Kill instinct got more games. Kill instinct is just so basic when you really think about it yeah it gets it gets forgotten about a lot of times yeah i mean dark stalkers do, do too but at least dark stalkers have a a good following and everything yeah even not with dark stalkers they still had the characters in the marvel capcom game so right they're still out there kill instinct just kill instinct they had yeah. super nintendo games 64 then it was nothing until xbox xbox One. One. Mm -hmm. so yep sorry sable Wolf, and i like sable Wolf too <laughs> yeah but John Tyler, I mean, definitely. He's not my favorite Dark Stalker, though. But he's up there. Yeah. He should have been in Marvel, some of the Marvel games. Marvel, get him in the game. They, I'm, Killer Instinct needs to do a crossover or something. Yeah. Sign that, get, get that license up. Yep. So with that being said, man, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys like, subscribe. Do everything, man. Get that merch on your body as well. It's also going to be in the comments as well. Yes, sir. Click them streamer links. Mm -hmm. Follow everything Punch Drunk. Yep. Get that merch on your body. All over. Yes, sir. But thank you guys for watching. It's Punch Drunk ENT, Mr. Swaggy No Aggie. I'm just Dan. And we out. Roll it.